All right, so the Tour de France is over and you might think, oh, well, you know, UAE won another tour. Pogacar's doing well. Have they got anyone else on their books who looks good? I made a video about him before and we need to make a video about him again because the under 23 Giro, I was busy and couldn't make any vids. But this boy absolutely ripped it. This is stage five up to Sestala. And uh, well, actually it might be early, it might be stage four. Three. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Basically, it's the same climb they used in the Giro, uh, which was stage five. Joel Dombrowski won it. Bernal put some time in some people. Same with Landa. Uh, it was a really, really good stage. It's short, steep climb, four kilometers, 9.2%. And uh, so about 14 minutes for these boys. And Juan Ayuso lost some time in the TT yesterday. Had a technical, not in the pink jersey. That was Ben Turner um, from Trinity. But Juan Ayuso riding for Colpac Balan says, Cheerio Gloag, Cheerio... Uh, the Uno X development rider, I'm off to get some time back. And my oh my, is this boy getting some time back. He's absolutely flying. It's a bit wet. Uh, he seems to go well and everything. These are the guys um, who are getting dropped at the moment, uh, which is not ideal. Old Ben Turner. Uh, anyway, when I, when I use so goes, uh, people don't really stick on him for very long. He's just too good for the under 23s, which is why uh, he's already signed for UAE. So he's like, had he was allowed, you know, the first couple of months to win some races, and then they said, "Yeah, yeah, get get back to us, uh, boy. Uh, we need you for UAE, uh, so that you can um, actually we can win some races with you uh, in the big boy races." And to be honest, he's just looked really, really strong like the whole year. Uh, I know, like for instance, he did a copy of Bartoli, got a top ten there. It looked really good. And to be fair, the Uno X lad is not doing too badly here. And I know. We're going to get into how fast he climbed this and com compare him to Bernal, etc. Which I know is always questionable because obviously the race is so different. Um, if he's as fit as Bernal, let's say, then obviously the race isn't too hard. But Tobias Johansson uh, is doing pretty well. But at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter how good you are. You're just going to get dropped by Juan Ayuso. Um, I know my mate Paul Double, who we did made a video about, uh, he was <laughs> like one of the only blokes this year um, in domestic Italian race to actually stick with Juan Ayuso. He came second on the stage. He lost He lost him in the last kicker. But basically, he was saying he's so, so strong, the boy. Um, and yeah, like he's got a rim break. Cinelli, obviously, save the rim break is a, is a big part of my identity as a cyclist. We love, we love to see it. And um. He's in like the multicolored jersey, and I think it's the points jersey at the moment. But this boy, like by the end, was just like, you know what? Can I have every jersey, please? Uh, and he will be getting every jersey. Um, but basically, the climb might be 4K to go, but it, it's a descent finish, so it's not too bad. This is Van den Abiel, I believe, um, who's a pretty strong rider. He managed to finish top five. Like, he finished second, I think, to pick up last year. Um, it might not be, uh, but this is who I think it is. Um, and you can see Ben Turner's getting spat even more. Poor lad, to be fair. Outrageous TT, super strong boy. He says his threshold's about, he says he's on 470 watts for 20 minutes or something. He's ridiculous, the boy. Um, but yeah, he's just mainly a side cross lad, but go, going across to some roads, got some results. But Juan Ayuso, he's got the head bob. His modern technique seems to really be the head bob. Richard Carci Carapaz has it. Um, Souza, Bernal, all them boys do. Bogatcha's got a bit of a head bob. He also has the tuft of hair going through, which I haven't seen for Juan Ayuso yet, but maybe he'll be bring that out and learning that those are the tricks of the trade you've got to have at UAE in order to succeed uh yeah the hair the hair thing um you know but here he is anyway we're gonna go to go talk about his time now so he did it in 13 minutes 41 and Bernal did it in 1401 so he bad Bernal by 20 seconds which is pretty mad to think about it because Bernal obviously won the Giro super strong lad won the tour but I think as again I said it can be hard to compare stages but we can look at the power files from Ben Healy, uh, who finished about a minute 20 down, and he did 6.2 watts per kilo for 14 and a half minutes. So, you know, minute and a half, bit of quick maths from Charlie, probably like 6.4 for 14 minutes. That is very strong at the end of a stage. Um, and here you can see the time differences between them with Ben Healy finishing, yeah, like a minute or so down um, on everyone else. Uh, yeah, poor, poor uh, Ben Turner, big boy, as you can see, big boy. But Juan Ayuso, no worries at all from the lad. He's just soloing away from everyone else. And to be honest, like, there wasn't that much on the climb. There wasn't any tactics. He just got to the front of the bomb and just rode it, like, probably six and a half watts per kilo and just said, who can stay with me? And people could stay with him for about five minutes. And then they were like, cheerio, son. Uh, I'm not, not going to be uh, sticking with you anymore. Um, but I think, yeah, he's a pretty impressive bloke. The question is, as Remco went straight from the juniors, can he actually ride a bike? No one knows. Remco can't really descend. Uh, which isn't ideal. Kenny ride in a bunch. Remco took some time doing that. So, you know, we'll have to figure these things out. Like, he has obviously raced pro races. Uh, for instance, 
Kobe Bartoli. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how he gets on with a World Tour race. Uh, he's done Giro de Lapanino, finished 19th, but we're coming into the last 400 meters, and this boy has wrapped up the win. He's wrapped up the pink jersey. He's wrapped up pretty much the stage race, to be honest. I mean, there were more stages to go. We're going to go analyze more. Um, but I think towards the end, he decided, yeah, maybe it's a bit rude if I win every stage. But on this one, he was like, yeah, I want to show people how good I am. And he has, because it was an unbelievable performance. 20 seconds quicker than Bernal basically beat everyone up Giro on that climb obviously it was probably easier at the beginning than the Giro the Giro stage was actually quite tough to be honest um it's where Ineos started sp um splitting it um oh no they didn't a different stage anyway it was quite a hard stage I, I, I believe uh, but anyway Juan Ayuso takes the W takes the pink jersey and uh cheers for watching and we'll see you in the next one